In this video, we'll learn to calculate the area and perimeter of simple shapes, including those that are made of a combination of rectangles, like these ones here, which I call the compound shapes. We'll start with the perimeter. And what is the perimeter? The perimeter is measuring the length around the shape. So I'll go around and measure all of these and add them up. So let's suppose this is the plan of a room and I'd want to put the skirting board around the room. So what I'll do, I'd measure the lengths, add them up and work out how much skirting board I'd need. A clue is within the word perimeter, rim, the rim of the room going around. So we'll look at working out the perimeter of all these shapes. So we've got some squares here, two squares. This length is seven centimeters. So the other side must be seven centimeters as well. And this must be seven centimeters as well. And this one, the reason being because it's a square and all sides are equal. So we've got seven and seven and seven and seven. So that's a way to work it out. So adding seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. So four lots of seven, which is 28. What unit are we using? That's centimeters. So that's what we get out, 28 centimeters. Now we've got another square here and each side is four meters. So four times four, because there are four sides and four meters each. So that means we can write it as four times four or four plus four plus four plus four. And that gives us 16 meters. Why is it meters? Because we can put in meters. So four meters and another four meters, that's eight meters. And the four is 12 and another four is 16. So 16 meters and we're going around. Now, rooms or other objects might have a shape like a rectangle. So they might be a rectangular. So we'll try and work the perimeter of this first rectangle. We can see the length, which is eight meters. And because this is eight meters, so must this side be as well. So that is eight meters as well. This is three, so this must be three. We know this because it's a rectangle. So what do I do? I add these, go round and out all of these and work out the total. So eight and three and eight and three. So eight and three is 11 and another 11 is 22. 22 meters. I cross these out to make sure I don't miss out any of them. And the same thing over here, we've got four, so this must be four centimeters this time, six centimeters and six centimeters. So I'll go and add them, four plus six plus four plus six. So six and four makes 10 and another 10 makes 20, so 20 centimeters. Other people might add four and four first and then six and six and add both the totals together. Both ways are perfectly fine. Now looking at compound shapes. So compound shapes are shapes which are made of two or more smaller shapes. In this case, these are made of rectangles and squares. So what I'm gonna do is again, because perimeter means going around, so I'll go around the whole shape. But do I know all the sides? At the moment, I don't. So I've got this long side here, which is eight centimeters. So this must be eight centimeters, or this must be eight centimeters. So this and this together would make eight. 
so that's four so this must be four as well four centimeters because four and four makes eight now I've got this length being six and this is four so this one which fills the gap between is two centimeters because two and the four which is this one make six so to work out the perimeter I'll go eight at six add four add two add four add four and I've come full circle I'll come back to where I started from so I've got everything and there are one two three four five six sides so I've got six numbers in there how can I add these easily I've got six and four together which makes ten and I've got eight and two together which makes ten so I've got 20 already, 24, 28, so 28 centimetres. And the last compound shape, we've got 9 kilometres. Obviously, this is scaled down because this is not really 9 kilometres or this one is not 8 metres or this one is not 4 metres. So it's like a plan. And we're using the scale to make these smaller. So we've got nine. So this and this together will make nine. That's six. So this must be three, which is this one as well. So three kilometers. And we don't know this, but we know this being four. And this one here is two because it's the same as this one. So four and two makes six kilometers. How do I work out the perimeter now? So I'll go around 6 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9. So I've done everything. I crossed them out. So we'll try and match them together now. 4 and 6 makes 10. Now, 6 and 3 makes 9, and I can borrow 1 from that to make 10. And then that leaves me with 1 there, and the 9 makes 10. So 10 and 10 and 10 makes 30. So 30 kilometers. Of course, you could have added as you wanted these without pairing them up. So you could go 6 and 3 makes 9, and then add 4, and then add 6, and add 2, and add 9 however you want to add them but this is how you actually work out the perimeter of squares of rectangles and compound shapes we'll now look at the area so area different from the perimeter it's about working out all of it inside not outside so area begins with a and means all of it inside so examples when you need to work out the area is when you want to work out how much carpet you need to cover a room. So anything on the surface and it covers it all. Let's have a look at this square here, which has four meters. So it's a scaled down plan. So it is much smaller here in the drawing than it is in real life. And We'll see. So if you have little squares to cover this area, because carpet, for example, comes in squares, in square meters or square centimeters. So as you can see, I can fit four of these squares because one meter is represented by a centimeter. So I can fit four on this side and four on that side because it's a square. So if I try and fill all of this with little squares that are one centimeter both sides, we'll see that we can fit 
16 of them because 4 times 4 makes 16 So to work out the area, what we do is 4 times 4 equals 16 meters squared because there are 16 squares. So that's how you work it out. And the same thing would happen here with this bigger square. So that is 7 centimeters the side and of course the other side will be seven so if i try and fit squares in there how many can i fit i would fit seven along this side so one two three four five six seven try and draw them rather than put the squares in so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven on that side as well. And seven here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I filled it in completely with squares, centimeter squares, it'd look like this. So pretty similar to what we have here. It's just bigger. So seven on this side and seven on this side. So all together it will be 49 because seven times seven equals 49. And what's the unit? Is it centimeters? No, it's centimeters squared because we actually multiply in two dimensions here, aren't we? Seven times seven. So the length times the width and that's we have a two there. And that too represents squares as well. Now looking at rectangles is the same thing. So that's eight meters and three there. So that would be three and that would be eight along the length. So three times eight equals 24. And that's meters squared and I won't go through the squares here because now we get the idea so the width is four the length is six so we go four times six equals 24 meters squared notice how we have the same area Although they're different rectangles, they have the same area. Because both 8 times 3 equals 24 and 6 times 4 equals 24. Now, compound shapes. So, to work out the area, we needed the length and the width. So, we'll need now to break these down to cut them into two shapes. So I'll make two rectangles, so I could do it here, I'll cut these here or there. It's perfectly fine either way. I, I'll just pick the one that is easier for me. So if I want to cut it here, let's see, so this area would be worked out by the length times the width. So the length is eight and the width is four. It's not six because six includes this bit as well. So that tells me that this must be two. This bit here must be two, two centimeters. So eight times four, I'll work it out here, eight times four. 4 equals 32 and this that remains now the width is 2 but what is the length the length we'll try and work it out so this and this will make 8 so 4 and 4 makes 8 so that this one here this area here is equal to 
4 times 2, which gives 8. So 8 centimetres squared plus the third to 2 equals 40 centimetres squared. The next one, let's cut it at this point. So we've got one rectangle here and another one there. So let's have a look. This one, can we work it out? We've got a 6, so length is a 6, width is 2, so 6 times 2 equals 12. How about this one? Do I know that width? No. And so I will need to work it out. So this whole length is 9 kilometres. This one is 6, so this one, either here or there, must be 3, because 3 and 6 gives us 9. So 3 kilometres. So I've worked one, worked out one. The next dimension, we've got, right, this whole thing we don't know, but we know this is 4, and this one 2, because it's the same as this one. So 2 and 4 make 6, so 6 kilometres there. Now well, I've got the width and the length, 6 times 3, equals 18 so all together the whole shape is equal to 12 plus 18 gives us 30 kilometers squared so again to recap we said area covers it all so we must make sure we cover the whole of the shape so we are actually multiplying when it comes to area because it's about how many squares would fit in. Just like in the examples we've looked at compound shapes then, it was a case of splitting them into two shapes. If you've noticed, the answer there was a square number because this shape was a square. So 7 times 7 gives us 49. 4 times 4 gives us 16. 6 times 6 gives us 36. So all the answers of the areas for the squares will be square numbers.